morning, guys. I am on day 30. 75 hard. And I am on my bike today. One of my favorite things to do. We are in full swing. And my legs have gotten longer. My bike, I had to put it up another notch today when I adjusted it. So definitely noticing some body changes. Definitely losing some fat. Um, everything's fitting different. Even my biker shorts are loose in the waist. Um, and so it's exciting getting the, those physical results. I feel like I'm seeing it in my face. My dimples coming out a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, I'll give you guys a full update for days one through 30 um, in a separate video, but I'm gonna get to work today. I got my first workout in and we are just gonna go for it. I am loving this. I got family coming in town today. I'm putting on a big old spread tomorrow. I'm gonna get this really good workout in today. And if I'm feeling it, I'm even gonna go longer than 45 minutes. So I will let you guys know. Um, it is later in the morning than when I'm working out. It's like 9.15 and normally I work out at like 5.15. <laughs> so I have been cleaning this morning, doing my readings, all the things. Um, and anyway, we're gonna get to work here and I've got some exciting news. My husband this morning, 30 days guys, mind you, it really does only take 30 days of consistent effort to really be on track to change your life and transform your life. But my husband this morning's like, sweetie, I want you to set me up and show me what you're doing. I wanna do this with you. So I have my first follower. <laughs> What's the most important thing in social psychology? It's not the leader, it's the first follower. <laughs> So here we are, but I'm going to get working and I'll check back with y'all. Hey guys, day 30 outside walk. I have been spending all day getting ready for Christmas. Um, it's Christmas Eve Eve right now for day 30. And it has just been quite a day. I am, we're getting the house ready. And of course, like the last few weeks, the house has been like, well, doing 75 hard. It is tricky keeping up with the housework is what I'm trying to say. So the top priority has been to do 75 hard. So my husband and I have been like, just getting everything done today and it's a lot but we're getting stuff off the list that we wanted to get done for a while which brings me to my point here with day 30 is with me doing 75 hard I'm telling you it is like making a lot of things in my life just blatant that I have to take care of them do you know what I mean and it's like my standards are being raised and I'm having a lot less tolerance for things that I used to overlook, you know? Um, my hair's wild. And anyway, I am, that is just something that has really been becoming more and more blatant as the days go on with doing 75 hard. Um, it is just, like, I don't know how else to describe it, except like my standards have been raised, are being raised. And my, t I just, I'm having a lot less tolerance for just certain things. Like, like this week, for instance, I went and I bought a wrapping paper organizer because I'm getting sick and tired of where I keep my wrapping paper. And there's no reason for me not to just put it in one of those big bags, the wrapping paper bags and store it down in my basement. And then when I use it, I use it. It doesn't have to be out, stuff like that. Like my environment is starting not to align with these inner practices that I'm doing 
and with the actual physical practices I'm doing. And so it's like kind of signing me up for more work, but it's a good thing because it's like, I want to do it now, like getting organized and really coming up with things, getting rid of things and all of that, getting rid of the clutter used to be something I felt like I should do, even though I didn't really care. Like, so what? Um, and now I'm just realizing the benefit of being organized and everything. Um, and especially with organizing my time for these workouts, organizing my laundry schedule and getting my clothes cleaned for the workouts. Like all of this is all like forcing me pretty much, or I guess it's more aligning. It's alignment is what this is. Everything's coming into alignment. That is where I think the real truth lies of doing 75 hard. And so I'm at this point right now where I'm realizing I need to do a full overhaul as well of just getting my space organized, my environment and practicing that way, you know? Um, so anyway, it's exciting. All this stuff is going down. Today has just been kind of a, you know, in workout clothes, working away, getting everything I need to do, to do done. Um, I have not eaten lunch yet today and it's now like getting to be mid afternoon. So when I get back from this walk, I'm gonna eat lunch, plan my dinner for tonight. And you guys, day 30 is gonna be in the books. It's exciting. I uh, looked back over all the 29 times that I've done 75 hard and how this is the 30th time. And the farthest I ever made it in 75 hard has been 38 days. So I did go ahead and look back at that, but that was definitely the farthest by far. The most, like the second place was like 11 days. And then there were several, like two days, four days, one day, <laughs> zero days. So anyway, I did look and see about that. So once I get to day, through day 38, I will be in like unmarked territory, you know? So anyway, we will chat soon.